Hi everyone, welcome back to our cart series. In this episode, we're going to be going over how to reset the cart if it does topple over on its side or on its back. How can we get back on the track? So let's go ahead and take a look at how we achieve this inside of Unreal. Okay, so there's a couple of things we need to do here first. First of all, we need to check to find out if we are on its side or upside down. There's a two couple of ways, well, there's a few ways you can handle this. So in our cart here, we're going to create a new function. We'll do one called is toppled. So an easy way of checking whether or not you're upside down or on the side or whatever is by looking at the actor's up vector. So we do get actor up vector. And for this, we use a dot product. So dot product. And when you put in a direction into a dot product and compare it to another direction, in this case, the Z, I put in one, so which is directly up. It's going to work out how closely aligned these two directions are. The closer they are together being the same, the higher this number will be cut to one. If they're opposite, it'd be negative one. So if the up vector for this is not nearly one, one that means we're on our side or upside down. So we need to do a check to see if this is uh, less than. I won't put one exactly because there might be a some variation of deviance going on there. But what we're going to do is just do 0 0.8. So it's less than 0 0.8. That means it's not pointing directly up. So let's go ahead and put that into a branch. Like so. The other thing we need to work out is then trigger the reset of the cart with a new event or function. And that'll be set by a timer. We don't want it to be instant. We want it to set start a timer up. So we're going to do on true here, set timer by event. And we'll say three seconds. Now the event we're going to do here is going to drag out and do a create event node. This allows us then to create a function, to create matching function. And this one we're going to call, um, we're going to call reset position. Come back to this in a second. So with this timer, we don't want it to keep resetting the same timer when it's upside down, otherwise it will never run. So we need to promote our return value here to a variable. And we'll call it the reset timer. I've already got one. Yep. And with the reset timer, I'm going to check as well that not only does this have to be true, and the timer must not be valid. So reset timer, we go is valid. And we do not. And we'll put that into the and. Okay, so the reset value, uh, reset position is going to be triggered when the timer here is not valid and when we're no longer pointing the right direction. Now, I want to make it so we reset the position. Now, the first thing we're doing in my reset position function is I'm going to clear the timer. More importantly, invalidate it. So therefore, it will clear it and able to do it again later on in the race. After that, we need to get the track and find out what position and direction we need for the track. So we need to get the closest, actually not get, it's just closest, and it'd be fine location closest to world location and I also want to do direction closest to a world location now both of these are not going to be local they're going to be world coordinates because we're changing the location and rotation of the ca character in the, or actor in the world so what's that? we're going to do set actor location and rotation node plug that in and new location is going to be our find location. And the direction is going to be plugged into new rotation. And it will convert it automatically to rotation from X vector. Convert the direction vector to a rotation. File. And what have I done? Uh, uh, oh, I forgot to give it a world location. Get actor location. There we go. That's better. 
Okay, so we've got this function happening is toppled. Now we're gonna put that on the tick because it needs to check it all the time basically. So is toppled, get plugged on the end there. Okay, so now we're gonna try and test this out. It might take a little second to test it out. So we might see a cut happening here. But I wanna see what the AI carts do specifically as they're more likely to mess up. Okay, so now we see the orange cart got toppled and then got reset. Okay, we've got a couple of instances where the carts are flying up in the air. Uh, so it has to be happening over here a lot. So let's work out why that's happening over here the most. And it might be that we just need to reset their inputs as well. Okay, so I want to reset their input on that reset as well. So let's go back to the reset position. And on the AI, well, actually not AI, just acceleration input here. We're gonna set that to zero. Um, so it stops trying to move basically. And you're basically starting again. There you go, we can now reset the position of our carts if they were to be toppled. And you can also use something similar if they are falling off the track too. If you're doing a very much like a Mario Kart thing with pits and death traps, you can totally make it just reset the position of the cart if they fall off. Um, but feel free to try that out. In the next episode, we're going to start work on our weapon pickups. So if you want to watch that next episode, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all our patrons and YouTube members for the continued support on the channel. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.